Hello and welcome to the Coffee Cup Visual Site Designer tutorial on how to actually publish your website to the web. Now we have done everything and how you do this is you have to come up here to the top where it says publish. And on this um, is a drop down and this is actually, you're going to be FTP, using an FTP, which is File Transfer Protocols, or Protocol, um, to get your information from your VSD up to the web. And you must use this publisher because it is um, proprietary um, technology and um, the your web server cannot read this um, VSD's um, WYSIWYG uh, language, if you will. It has to be in HTML, which is hypertext markup language. That's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, in order to read it and get it onto the web. So what you have to do is you have to FTP it. And how you do that is you come up here and you hit publish and you have a drop down and it says FTP account settings. Now this is what we want because um, this is information that you will find either on your uh, uh, my your account information at your web server, or perhaps your web server sent you a letter when you joined, um, giving you all the information and and how to instructions on how to set these things up. But this is where you're going to go and set it up within the Coffee Cup Visual Site Designer. Now, as you can see, uh, this is the box that comes up. And this would be where you put in your information. The nickname, in this case, since it is uh, Yogi's Coupon Bazaar, that's what I just used that as the nickname. Okay, and your server is your website. So if your website is mugsrs.com, this is where you would type mugsrs.com. Okay, and then, of course, your username. Now, this username and password both are the username and password according um, for your server, okay? They're not anything else that you've got. It, this is with your server. Otherwise, it won't work, okay? So you're getting into your account, and that's what this username and password are for, okay? And then you're going to put for the remote folder. When you want something to go up live on the Internet, it must, must go into the public underscore HTML because that way it'll be seen. And in this case, I am actually, I have a forward slash and yogiscouponbazaar.com because I use this for um, uh, some other uh, websites as well. Um, so this just helps get, get it more precise and tells it exactly where to put it. Otherwise, it would just be in a general public HTML and you might have a little more difficulty finding it <laughs> than you would if you actually have the folder there, um, the remote folder of the name of your website, okay? And how you add your website, you can add it right here, because if you come over here to your left, there's a green uh, plus mark or whatever, green button with a plus mark, and it says add new FTP server profile. So if you had another, like Mugs R Us, you would click this, and then you would type in all your information for Mugs RS over here, okay? If you want to delete the selected FTP server profile, so you decide, ah, okay, no, that's not Mugs RS, I don't want it, okay? So then you just would delete uh, <laughs> Mugsy or whatever it is your nickname is. So that it would just delete that one. So that's how you add as well. So then you just, um, I always use passive mode, it's the easiest. Then you can test your connection and it should run through it and it should say something to the effect of um, connection okay or something to that effect. And then you just save it so that the next time you go in, you can come up here to your publish button. And in this case, I would publish to Yogi, okay? And that's how you do it. I hope that this was of some help and I thank you for watching.